Hi everyone, I'm here at the historic Hollywood Museum. We're here at the 2023 LGBTQ plus Rail to Rail exhibit. What excites you about being here today? Well, first of all, it's pride here and everywhere. And uh, I'm supporting my best friend, Paul Jasek, who's being inducted into the Hollywood Museum as the first openly gay comic uh, back in the 80s. And I'm a professional stand-up comic and actress. And I am here to support everybody in the LGBTQIA community. Uh, and that's why I'm here. It's very inspiring. I love the Hollywood Museum. I've been out in Los Angeles for 22 years. And I'm just happy to be here. That's super exciting. Are there any special projects that you're able to talk about with us today that you have going on? Uh, yes, I'm touring with my one-woman show, Midlife Mood Swing, about my mom, who was part of the LGBTQIA community. And uh, I'll be touring. I start on the East Coast in, at the end of August. Uh, you can watch Shameless on uh, Showtime streaming right now. Uh, and I am sta doing stand-up comedy all over the country, so just look for me at M. Kennedy Comedy. And I'm here with Erin Murphy. How are you doing today? I'm great. I'm always happy to be here. So what brings you out to celebrate today? Um, a lot of things. I actually have a couple items on display in the exhibit, and I am a huge supporter of the LGBTQ community. That's so exciting. Can you tell and us? Plus, and whatever else. <laughs> <laughs> Can you tell us a little bit about the items that you do have that you said are going to be here? I don't know what they have in this time. I know they had me do um, radio in advance with Danelle, and, and they've put a couple different dresses back and forth, so I don't know which one they finally chose. So, so it's exciting. either red or black with beads. I don't know until I get in there. I can't wait to see it. We're going to keep an eye out for it. Well, thank you so much for taking the time with us. We really appreciate it. Of course. Happy to be here. You look beautiful. Thank you. You do too. Thank Paul Jasek today. How are you doing? I'm doing really well. I'm so excited to be here. I'm really so honored. That's so amazing. What, what excites you the most about being here? Well, when uh, they contacted me to be an exhibit here at the Hollywood Museum, I thought, do I have to live in a little glass case and they feed me cheesecake? A 1970s homosexual in his natural habitat. That's um, kind of nice. But, <laughs> but I was, I was uh, one of the first openly gay stand-up comics, and so they're, uh, we're celebrating Pride, and they're honoring me by How having exciting. things in an exhibit from my that career. That is so exciting. Can you tell us a little bit about your career? Well, when I first started in 1989, I was such a green comic, and I didn't go to stand-up first. I uh, was trying to be an actor, but I would go to a, an audition, and they'd go, you know, this character's not gay, and I'm like, I know that, and they go, well, you have a gay accent. I'm like, so I went to stand-up. I thought it was the last spot, and uh, I got a spot at the comedy store. I was maybe had three minutes of material, and uh, I talked about being a gay comic, and they led me off the stage and he said, we need to talk to you. And I thought, I'm in trouble. It's like being called to the principal's office. And this woman with a scarf on her head, Mitzi Shore, said, you're funny. Becker, sign him up. Welcome to the comedy store. So the first time I did uh, a professional audition, they made me a regular at the comedy store in 89. And so uh, now I tour nationwide and I have uh, my own podcast, my own show. And What's the name of it? Uh, it's Currently, it's called The Crow's Nest. Perfect. Well, we're able to look it up, and thank you so much for taking thank the time you. with us. Thank we really so appreciate much. it. Happy Pride. Thank you. thank you. I'm here with Kathy Cola. How are you doing today? I'm doing great. So excited to be here, and this is a great occasion. Yeah. It is. Um, yeah. What excites you most about being out here today celebrating? You know, just supporting one another. It's so important, and just meeting all these great people and catching up with people that I know, like you, and then all these <laughs> other great friends. and. Just, you know, lo I love the Hollywood Museum. It's always such a great time being here because everybody supports each other and it's yeah. so nice. It's so important. Can you tell us a little bit about what you're doing right now with your career? I'm doing a lot. Start? Yes, um, I have a, a, show, a new show that's coming out. It's called Veg Head. It's, it's kind of like The Office, but it's about a vegan kitchen and nobody oh people are screaming <laughs> how exciting <laughs> nobody wants to eat vegan food everyone's against it so it's it's a it's a comedy and it's 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 true to my heart let's just put it that way <laughs> yeah we love that well congratulations on that so Thank exciting you. and so i'm here with lydia cornell you're how so are beautiful. you doing you're so beautiful you. i love this outfit i'm, I'm so trying to pretty. be rainbow but i don't have enough color you know i missed the memo but but we're, we're doing it we're doing it you look great Thank you. what excites you about being here today well, I support the gay community and gay entertainers because my best friend in high school was Monroe Mendelssohn and my best friend on TV, they named the character Monroe in our TV show after my best friend, Monroe Ficus. That so it's so Jim Bullock and he's gay and my sister's gay and, you know, my boyfriend's daughter. So we, the most beautiful people in the world, of all colors, tribes and, you know, race, 
gender, you know, LGBTQIA, I support everything. We should have much more love in this society. That is so It's really beautiful. making me sad that there's so much hate going on. I totally understand. Can you tell us a little bit about your career and what you're doing? Well, I started out in the 80s doing a movie with James Earl Jones and Jose Ferrer, my first big movie in the Greek Isles, Blood Tide. It was a horror film with three Oscar winners. Congratulations. And I had to, I didn't want to go topless, so I had to trick the producers into, I had to outwit them. So I had to dive in and drown. Then I got the big hit series Too Close for Comfort with Ted Knight and spent seven years on that show. Wow. And it's still on every day. That is so cool. It's kind of cool. And I did Curb Your Enthusiasm, Full House, Knight Rider, A Team, Six Love Boats, Two Hotels, Fantasy Island, Charlie. I've done 250 shows. But mainly raising. Raising boys, raising aliens, wow. that is raising so three cool. little boys. I raised three boys and two dogs, including my husband. And they all went through puberty at the same time. <laughs> What a show! That is super cool. Is there any? So, any last things that you want to share with the audience today? Well, I'm writing a book called "Hiding My Brain in My Bra," but it's about being a sex symbol in the '80s and navigating, trying to gain respect for yourself. Yeah and recovery, because I'm 28 years sober, and everything in life is about gratitude and loving one another and being kind and turning every fear and worry, wear the world as, as a loose garment, you know, don't worry about anything. I love that. I'm going to take that to, advice forever. It's true though, and the more love you, you give out, the more, generosity is the antidote to depression. The more you volunteer and the more help you give others, the less self-centered like you author. are. Well, I'm an author, but you know, oh, I know this great philosopher once said, all my suffering is a result of thinking about myself too much. When I'm helping others, I'm happy, you know what I mean? Wow, that was so nice getting to know you and meet you today. And I have the pleasure of being here with... Stephen Wishnoff. What excites you about being here today? Well, a lot of things, honestly. It's the 10th anniversary, and I've been here for six of the 10. Um, I've actually been honored to be part of the exhibit several times during that time and in fact some of my work is there tonight. How exciting! That is so exciting! And can you tell us a little bit about what's going on with your career right now? What is going on with my career? Well, you might have heard the Writers Guild is on strike yeah. and as a result there's not much work as a writer or an actor to do so I am supporting the WGA um, for a fair contract and waiting for SAG-AFTRA to decide what that contract is and last I heard from Fran Drescher she was hopeful that it's all going to work out well. I really hope so. I am too. <laughs> is there any other last things that you'd like to share with the audience today? Well other than walking through my shot <laughs> um, I'd like you all to avoid being mean to people. I'd like you all to be kind, <laughs> good and loving, caring, and if you can't, stay away from me, okay? <laughs> Thanks. I love that. Thank you so much. Hi everyone. I'm here with Victoria Savage. How are you doing today? I'm great. How are you doing? I'm doing so good. It's such a beautiful day. What excites you about being here today? <laughs> oh, everything. I mean, this is such an important event. You know, LGBTQ. You know, it's been really rough the last couple of years. So I'm really thrilled to be here, showing my support, being an ally for everybody. That's beautiful. Can you tell us about your career and what you do? Sure. I'm an actress, writer, and producer. Um, I've just finished a television pilot. Um, I'm also currently in production for a short series that I wrote, um, also starring in it. <laughs> so pretty much everything. Wow, you're, like, you're so busy. How do you manage your time with all of that? Um, that's a very good question. <laughs> Sometimes I feel like uh, I'm not quite doing it, but, but honestly, I, the best thing is just to put out a schedule and try my hardest to make that happen. You're doing it all. That's amazing. Is there any last things you want to share with the audience today? Um, no. If you want to find me, I'm on Instagram at Victoria Savage. And have a great night. Hi, everyone. I'm here with Jeffrey Mark. How are you doing today? I am sparkling to be here at the Hollywood Museum for Gay Pride. Yay! I love that. What excites you about being at this event today? Gay Pride. Um, I'm old enough to have marched when it wasn't so happy. I'm old enough to have put my life at risk to get the right to be in a place like this and sparkle. Um, I almost died once. We were, we, we, we were marching in New York City and someone threw a brick at me and just that moment someone called my name and I went, what? And I could feel the wind of the brick going by my face. 
but it was important that I be there then, and it's important that I'm here now. We're still here. That Yay. is wonderful. We're all still here. Let's say hooray for all of us. Can you tell us a little bit about what's going on with your career right now? Sure. I have my radio show, Jeffrey Mark Plays Ella, every week. I've got an album coming out in the fall, Jeffrey Mark Sings, the Ella Fitzgerald Songbook. My memoirs are coming out next year called The Devil Was Born in Brooklyn, and the new Lucy book is also coming out next year. So I'm a busy wow. boy. Wow, so much stuff. Is, so there much any, stuff. is there any last things that you want to share with the audience today? Love is love. And uh, by the way, when bad people die, don't celebrate because they have their own path to take. You take yours and love everybody. So beautiful. Well, have a great night. Thank, Thank you, you for being too. with us. My pleasure. Thank you. I'm here with Nimi Adokie. How are you doing today? I'm doing good. It's such a great turnout. I'm amazing. I like to see meet new people. So I'm here to be here. I'm happy to be here. What excites you about being at this event today? I'm just here to see the awards that's going to be going out. I know Raven Small is going to be giving an award to JoJo. So I'm excited for that. That is yeah. so exciting. Yeah. Can you tell us a little bit about what's going on in your career? Yes. Well, first of all, I have a film that I'm going to be filming after this one is due <laughs> called Mirage. It's a very big psycho, psycho thriller, so I'm excited about that. So yeah, that's what's happening in my life right now. But right now, just baking, a, baking my baby. Hey, that's an important job. It is. It is. It's a lot of work, guys. It is. Heartburn is no joke. <laughs> I love that. Is there any last things that you'd like to share with the audience today? Um, yeah, you guys should just follow me on Instagram. I'm on the real Nimi. That's where I'm at. That's where I post a lot of my things. Me on the red carpet. Me at events. Uh, me on set, doing a lot of things. So yeah, I'm out about. Thank you so much for being with Thank us. Thank you for having Thank me. you, everyone. We're here with Bionic Buzz. I have the pleasure of being here with... <laughs> I'm Ted Ryan. Joseph Aiello. How are you both doing today? Oh, well, Great. look around. This is, what could be better? <laughs> this is fabulous. A beautiful day in Hollywood. What yes. excites you both about being here? Oh, wow. Well, we never turned out an invitation to come to Hollywood. And tonight, uh, we are having uh, Joan Rivers, who married us back in 2014. Her jacket, which we have in our apartment, but we lent it to the museum, so it is on display there. How exciting! Yeah. Yes, that's so uh -huh. cool. That was, uh, that was our. It should have been a nothing thing, but the first time we did it, and it happened to be at a Barnes and Noble in the city, yes. and it was during her book signing for Diary of a Mad Diva. And while we were waiting, we read the book, and it said she was an ordained minister. So during the Q and A, I raised my hand and I said, "Is it true? Or would you marry my boyfriend and I?" And she was like, "Yeah." And we did it. Somebody grab a Bible from aisle seven. Let's have a wedding right here in the bookstore. You what know? we didn't realize <laughs> is that Entertainment Tonight was following Joan around during a segment on A Day in the Life with Joan Rivers. Wow. So the next day we were on TV. Literally, if you blinked twice, you missed us. <laughs> but the interview on the website went viral. Oh, and yeah. <laughs> so when, she, when we found out we had to get married again for legal purposes, she immediately agreed to, agreed to do it again. Okay. And then she did it. And then... She died. Yeah. Like literally 20 mm -hmm. days after she married us, oh second time she died. We mm -hmm. had the pleasure of being able to do that before. Yes. And she was wonderful. She was a beautiful human being. Yeah. She cried both yes. weddings. And she does so much work for charity. Her legacy will go on forever because she's just an amazing woman. Yeah. And uh, this yes. is just a wonderful experience. And a true LGBTQ rights icon. Oh my God, so yes. We'll always she love her for that. That's so beautiful. <laughs> do you have any last words you want to share with the audience today? Wow. Well, <laughs> do not hide your pride. Be proud 365 days a year. Amen. No? Amen, yes. <laughs> I'm here with Randy West, and we're here with Bionic Buzz. How are you doing tonight? I am thrilled to be here. I'm fantastic. And your smile you just makes it all the better. Thank it truly so does. <laughs> Paid good money for it. <laughs> <laughs> what excites you about being here today? Well, the Hollywood Museum is fantastic. One walk through there, and it's like, oh, my God. Why didn't Hollywood have this for many years? Yeah. But with Gay Pride Month, you know, it's, it's amazing that... For the hundred years of motion picture history, there are so many LGBTQ folks who have worked, not just hair and makeup, we think of that, and gowns and all that, but direct, George Cukor directed Gone with the Wind. I mean, there's a long list of folks who, you know, were closeted and their great creativity was in demand, but they couldn't be who they were. So they have a rightful place with their work in this museum and it's, it's wonderful to be able to honor them, some of them, so many years after their passing. Well said, that was so beautiful. You. Can you tell us a little bit about what's going on with your career? My career is the most important career in my life, as I'm sure yours is for you as well. Uh, for years I've been television announcing, I've worked with Bob Barker, 
yelling, come on down, gave away a few thousand new cars. And now I travel the country with the Price is Right live stage show and then Wheel of, Wheel of Fortune. You can't just say Wheel of Fortune, you have to say, How do you say it? Wheel of Fortune. <laughs> I love so that. it's my pleasure to uh, give away prizes. How could you love? like the best job. It's the best job in the I'm world. I'm sure people like you. That's it. They don't want. Me. They don't want me. They just want me for the the new car or the twenty five thousand dollars. That is so cool. It is great to be here and great to see you. You was awesome. How are you doing today? I'm doing really well. And you? Oh, I'm doing so well. It's been Good. so much fun meeting everyone today. Good. What excites you about being here today? Well, I think that because um, I'm receiving an award that is named after my mother and that um, her legacy will go on forever and um, you know I, I'm so filled with grateful and honor and I'm so proud but I guess the pride in my heart is really that I can say I'm Judy Garland's daughter. That's so beautiful. <laughs> wow, how exciting. So can you tell us a little bit about what's going on in your career and for you? Oh yeah, I mean listen, I've just come off the road and I'm going to have a free summer. So <laughs> that's sort that. of great. That's sort of great. So I go back to work in October and I'm very, very pleased and I'm very, very happy. Well, congratulations. But, um, yeah, I, I'm just, I, I'm glad um, to, to be in a town that means so much to an industry that gives so much to people who love to go and sit in the movies and watch the movies. And I just, um, I just have to say that um, I know that this is something that is sort of dear to my heart, but I am proud of all the writers. I am glad what they are doing. I am glad and I hope that they can negotiate something that will mean something for a long time. Well said. Thank you so much for taking the time with us. Sure. Thank you. I'm Michael Feinstein. Nice to see you. How are you doing? I'm doing good. I mean, this is a lot of fun and I'm glad to be here. And nice weather. What excites you about being here today? Being able to pay tribute to my friend Lorna Luff, who is a true humanitarian and deserves to be acknowledged and honored for that in addition to her talent. That is so beautiful. Can you tell us a little bit about your career and what's going on with you? My career. Uh, I am uh, touring with a, a concert with Jean-Yves Thibaudet. We're playing uh, Carnegie Hall in the fall, Ravinia. It's a, it's a tribute to Gershwin, the music of George Gershwin, and it's a two piano show. He's one of the great concert pianists of the world. Yeah. And uh, I am uh, uh, working on another album and uh, just making music uh, all over the place. So. Congratulations, that's so cool. Is there any last words that you'd like to share with the audience before you have to go? Live your truth. Love that. Well, how are you doing today? Great, great. And what excites you? I will. Sorry. <laughs> what excites you about today's event? So tonight we are here because we are celebrating Pride Month and here in Hollywood uh, it's quite extraordinary because we have got a fabulous exhibit. In fact, it's our 10th annual exhibit, Real to Real, Portrayals and Perceptions of LGBTQs in Hollywood. And we showcase plot lines and famous characters from your favorite television shows, films, digital dramas, and tonight I think there's probably more than 200 exhibits on display. Wow. Yeah. You couldn't have picked the most perfect location for this. How exciting. Well, we're thrilled. You know, we're here. The Hollywood Museum is in the historic Max Factor building where Max Factor made all the glamorous stars. You know, uh, he was the one who created the fabulous looks for all the stars of Hollywood's golden era all the way through the 70s. That is so cool. And I'm so honored and excited to get to be here and attend this event. Is there any last words that you would like to share with the audience today? Well, we look forward to seeing everybody because I know you're going to enjoy something in this exhibit and the entire museum showcases more than 10,000 exhibits. We even have Hannibal Lecter's jail cell in our lower level. It used to be a bowling alley and speakeasy during prohibition days. But you know, I think the exciting thing for me is, is that uh, our favorite soap operas, they have got stories and plot lines and characters that are part of the LGBTQ plus community and they're going to be on display additionally. That is so cool. Thank you so much for taking the time. Nice.
Thanks. I'm here with Sofia Milos. How are you doing today? I'm doing great, Cassandra. You? You're beautiful. Oh, thank you. You're beautiful. Thank you so much. What excites you about being here today? Well, we're supporting pride. We're supporting diversity. Uh, and and uh, Jojo, one of my favorites. She's so, she's just amazing. She's rock and roll. And any any event done by Raj and Neil, I will come and support when I can, when I'm in town. And also because I have something beautiful to announce, Graves and Sears. Season two. We're gonna. Uh, I'm flying to New York for the premiere on uh, 27th of uh, June, just before I go to Italy. And you know, we're good, the whole gang is together, and that's who's the gang: Chaz Palminteri, um, Vincent Pastore, Armanda Sante, um, Marty Cove, Mario Cantone from Sex in the City. Myself. We're so many of us. Fran Drescher. I don't know that she can join us with all that's going on right now. <laughs> Let her do the job. Let her do our thing that, you know, to protect us actors. That is so amazing. Can you tell us a little bit about what's going on in your career right now? Well, that's what's going on. I'm going for the premiere of Gravesend uh, season two, which should premiere soon, which is a show that I'm part of. It's an 80s Brooklyn show, Mafia. I'm a mafia wife. Where it's helmed by William DeMeo, and we have an extraordinary cast so with uh, Chaz Palminteri and Vincent Pastore and Mario Cantone, William Forsythe, and the whole um, cast. Uh, I also We also have a movie that right now is called I Love You, which probably slid because of the strikes that are going on and supporting the VGA and the Directors Guild and now, you know, uh, Screen Actors Guild that was authorized the strike since uh, sa since Monday and uh, hope so I'm going to just go and visit my mama for a couple Sounds of months. Sounds so nice. Yeah. Sounds yeah, like such a great time. Well, thank you so much thank for taking the time with us. I'm here with Gordon Thompson. How are you doing tonight? I'm awfully glad to be here. I, usually I don't look forward to going to the, any kind of event because you've got to get gussied up and think and be, you know, together, which is not a natural state for most people. And, but I'm awfully happy to be here. Well, you did a good job at it. Thank you. <laughs> what excites you about most about this event today and celebrating the LGBTQ plus community? Um, it's long overdue, really very long overdue, because of the closet the closet for every gay human being in the world, certainly in Hollywood. At the beginning, it wasn't, it was never easy. It was with, with before social media, etc. it was a little easier, but now it's enormous. And the fact that it is finally, homage is being paid to our community from the beginning, which is an extraordinary group of people. Not just Rock Hudson and Manelli and did not love it. it's it's the crew people and the artists at work and just extraordinary group of people. And at last they're being recognized. Which I think is sensational. So great. Thank Don't you. you for, think so? I think it's amazing. I'm yeah. so excited to get to be here tonight. Good for and you. And thank you for taking the time with us. It's a pleasure. Thank you. Thank you. Oh, you Hello. both look so good today. Oh, thank you. So do you. Thank you. What excites you about being here today? Well, what excites me about being here is that this commemorates the work that we do on an everyday basis. Jojo is being honored for all of her hard work that she does in the industry, and she deserves it. This here at this museum is is massive. You know, I was just in there just now and I was like oh Shirley Temple playing on repeat the person that I paid attention to and all of the people and fans that have supported Jojo will look at Jojo like Shirley Temple you know what I mean I so it just that. continues the it continues Hollywood. I love it that is so cool can you tell us a little bit about what projects you're working on or that are coming up? Um no <laughs> Yeah, I cannot actually. Oh, it's a secret. It I love actually, that. It is no, a that's so I'm not cool. Allowed to talk about it. We oh, except for she does have something to say. Well, we <laughs> actually have a podcast that is launching next month, which we're super excited about, and that's about all I What's guess it we can say. It's called the best podcast ever with Raven and Miranda. We'll be looking out so, for it. Yes, <laughs> please do. do. Is there any last words that you'd like to share with the audience? Uh, it's really important to support Hollywood, and I know that sometimes we're really crazy, but at the end of the day, we are humans trying to entertain, and we have feelings, and uh, support us as best as you can. I love that. Thank you so much Thank for being you. here. Thank you. How are you doing today? I'm pretty awesome. How are you? I'm doing so good. What good. excites you about being here with us today? Well, first of all, I think it's really important for all of us to step forward and honor people of all different races and sexual choices and individuality. 
Um, you know, we all have a right to create who we are, and that's Beautiful. why I'm here. Can you tell us a little bit about the exciting news going on in your career right now? <laughs> well, yes. Um, I just got news that they're submitting me for an Emmy for Fatal Attraction, uh, which I got to do with Mr. Spielberg again. So I was extremely happy to be a part of that company. Lizzie and I, I would just make her my sister if I could. That's so wonderful. And my daughter's having a baby, my first Congratulations. Well, thank thank you. you so much for taking the time with us. You bet. We appreciate it. Thank Have you. a good night. Thank you. How are you doing today? I'm good. How are you? You look so good. I'm doing, I'm excited that thank I got you. to meet you. It was so exciting. Thank you. Can you tell us a little bit about your award today? I, you know, I can. I'm so excited. Uh, obviously, the Hollywood Museum is something that's been here for so long and it's so iconic. To be honored here tonight it's is incredible. unreal. I um, there's I don't know if it's a surprise. The thing that they're doing, I think it might be a surprise. So okay. I got to be careful what I say. But I, I believe I get to see it today, and I'm really really excited. That is so cool. exciting. Can you tell us a little bit about what's going on in your career right now? Oh my gosh, so many things. I'm about to start filming a TV show out of the country that I'm exciting. so excited about. Uh, so much music, so much with my girl group, XOMG Pop, of course social media stuff every day. There's another TV show uh, involving my family, which has been so fun. There, there's every other day it's something. I just filmed a movie. It's crazy. That's so cool. I love getting to watch your career transform. I remember I grew up watching you. Starting from Dance yeah. Mom. So it's so cool Thank just you. watching everything that you've done with your career. Thank you. Thank you for taking the time. Of course. Oh my gosh. It. Thank you.